Guys, we're back. We're back for part nine of the Horizon Forbidden West Let's Play series. Um, and as we are loading up here, let me get this going. So as we're loading up here, I just want to, I want to tell you guys, um, I did start another playthrough file that I've gotten ahead of where we are here in the Let's Play. And I did that because, you know, I made a video on like skills, a couple videos on skills. And the first one did like 500 views in a week, which is more than I've gotten so far on anything. So I think I really need to prioritize those types of like guides and tips and tricks videos a little bit more um, to grow this channel, you know, but I still want to keep doing these let's plays. Um, but to do those other guides and make them really good, I kind of have to be able to play ahead and, and do a lot of content through the game to like figure out what the best weapons are and how to fight machines and everything like that. So I'm going to be playing ahead, but I'm going to go back to this um, playthrough for the Let's Play series for the walkthrough. And I guess just know that I'll kind of know some things. And the good thing about that is I'll be able to tell you as we're going through the Let's Play, you know, what quests aren't really worth doing, like side quests, if they're not really worth your time. Um, and I'll also find out some special things like where some special weapons are hidden and stuff like that. So if you wanted to see like a totally surprise first time playthrough, uh, I apologize. You know, I am going to not quite be as surprised at the main plot line or the plot points as they come up. But uh, I think it will make for a good Let's Play series and it'll make for good guide videos that I'm doing on the channel as well. So one of the things I actually did realize on my second playthrough is that I don't think we ever um, got something from meal? Mildiff when we finished that errand. So yeah, see, he's saying we can have one for free. So because we did that for him, that, that errand for him before, we can choose one of these. And obviously we'd want to choose one of the rare ones for free. Um, so let's see what we want here. This one does boost stamina regen, restores 75% health and 75% stamina. And then this one restores 75% oh, boost melee damage and does the same thing. So which one do we want here? Let's grab this one. I think I grabbed the other one in my other playthrough. So we'll try this one out at some point. So just know that you should, uh, if you do that errand, then you get a free meal from Mildriff if, uh, at the end of the errand, at the end of the quest. Okay, so let's take a look, see what quest. I think we were gonna head down on the main quest and I'll go over to the embassy now that we can do that. So let's keep going that way. To, uh, it's called Baron Light. Baron Light is where we're headed. You guys can see that that meal is down here, Mildiff Street. It's down here in your um, like with your potions and rocks and smoke bombs and stuff like that. I can override one of these chargers. I have yeah, to go let's quiet. override a charger. So something else I noticed, guys, with overriding, um, now that I have this mount call, like once I have one overridden, I have the mount call ability down here in the bottom left. And even if like we go super far away, um, you know, to a completely different town, as long as I have a mount overridden somewhere at some point and it hasn't died, you know, like fighting other machines or something, then you'll be able to call it. So you just need to kind of override one at the start and then uh, you'll have it ac accessible all the time. Sort of like the final level of the mountain call skill worked in Zero Dawn, which is pretty cool. I've been seen. So let's head to Baron Light. And there are a couple more side quests I want to do here in the Daunt before we actually head out into the Forbidden West. So this like, this isn't the Forbidden West yet. This is kind of just the entryway, so to speak. Like if you look at the map, 
Uh, we came in over here in the northeast on the cable car, right? And then this like whole narrow valley is the Don up to Barren Light. And the rest of this is the Forbidden West, really. So we're not even technically into the Forbidden West yet. And this is like <laughs> part nine of the of the Let's Play series. But um, I think it's really cool. They said this map was only a little bit bigger than the Zero Dawn map. But I have to say like, they also said that they were going to try and pack it full with a lot more stuff. And that's definitely true. Like it, which makes it feel Light. way bigger than the Zero Dawn map, the part of the which I love. For the Forbidden West. All right, let's uh, head off here. Maybe that means the embassy's starting soon. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. Let's take a look at some of these NPCs and like the merchants and stuff. Ah, savior, <laughs> tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Hang on, I think I need to boost the uh. Boost the audio a bit. I'll do that on my my uh, recording west. software here. Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy, uh, I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Barren Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West, guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> so I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Yeah, these are like the salvage contracts things, which are basically like um, kind of bounties on machine parts. And I haven't played with those too much getting into the Forbidden West, so we will uh, see what those are all about as we keep going here. Uh, where is... So the outfit merchant is over here. And let me take a look here. So we have the Azaram Explorer outfit already, so we can't buy another one. This Nora Sentinel outfit looks pretty good. I just got this in my other playthrough. Um, but it's pretty hard to upgrade. You need a, like, see it, you need a sky drifter circulator. That's like a machine that we haven't seen yet here. So it's, uh, it looks like it's really good armor, but I think you should probably come back to get this after you've been in the Forbidden West for a little bit. But I think we should go over to the weapon merchant, the hunter merchant right here. And let's see, what did I want to get here? The blast sling. So I think having this blast sling will be good because I'll show you. It can do, well, we can see it Sorry. there in the menu actually. The closed for now. It deals bits. purge water damage. So purge water is kind of like acid, fire, freeze. It's just another elemental damage type. Um, and I've noticed that some of the Machines are like weak to that in the Forbidden West, and this is like the only weapon you can get early on that will deal purge water damage. So I think it's pretty important that you grab grab that. And let's just see if we can upgrade anything here real quick. Oh yeah. So I have the hunter bow upgraded all the way. Oh, this was the other thing I wanted to show you guys. So I actually bought the uh, Regala edition, uh, but it didn't show up until like five days after the game came out. So I couldn't use my Regala edition codes to get those special items. But um, 
I guess I have them in my inventory already. I was looking at them before. So you get the Karja Behemoth Shortbow right here. You get this Nora Thundersling. And then you also get, what was it? I think you got a different spear. Maybe that's in my uh, stash still. Oh yeah, here we go. So you get these outfits, Karja Behemoth Elite. Nora Thunder Elite and Nora Legacy, which none of them are like particularly powerful. So it's not like, you know, you have an advantage by buying the Collectors of Regala Edition or anything, but it's kind of cool. Um, you get like a Machine Strike piece, the Claw Strider, and I swear they gave you a spear. I must have that in my inventory. Oh, is this? Yeah. Okay, so you get the Nora Legacy Spear, and if you look at the stats here, they're exactly the same as the um, the normal spear. So there's no advantage there. Um, it just looks like slightly different. It's hard to even see the differences between these two. It's really like at the top there or the bottom, depending on how you want to look at it, there's like a red strap or a band around that. And on the Legacy one, it's like purple-blue. So... I don't know. I'll equip that. That's pretty cool. These these weapons here, like the Karja Behemoth Shortbow and the North Undersling are not particularly good either. But that's what you get with the Regala edition. Alright. Let's head in here. Where's Erend? Erend. Looks like he's had a few. Huh. <laughs> he's drinking. Day drinking. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. Oh. Aaron's kind of down, huh? How have things been since and I. Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped the Vod pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um... Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since uh, what, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight, damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. I feel like the eye movement in particular with the motion capture makes it like really makes it, you know, just like their eyes moving around even now or like when they're talking, it's, it's so much more realistic. What do you know about the embassy? I know not much, only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh, but from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. For sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the west. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I, um, 
I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame you for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. <laughs> Dad, don't count on it. <laughs> don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Aaron's such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. All right, so uh, you can just head out through the gates at that point, which is a big, big story point, but I want to do this quest first. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... Fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Laravik to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Laravik was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here. Meaning, someone left it open on purpose. And Laravik, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting... different. Jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Laravik mentioned the Eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Laravik lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Laravik's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Laravik in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey... If you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. <laughs> the meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. If you guys haven't figured it out already, they went overboard on, well, not overboard, like in a good way, on uh, the amount of like dialogue and motion capture scenes and everything. It really makes this feel like it's almost like a movie or a TV show at, at certain points. So let's see, where, where do they want us to go here? Shadow from the past. 
Clips are in the dot somewhere, possibly. I'm gonna go check out this clearing. This water looks so good too. Look at all the fish in here. They even have like different species of fish just in little pools and rivers and stuff. Till I have a bow upgraded enough that I can just one shot these guys with hunter arrows. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Definitely need wildlife to upgrade your pouches and stuff. What was this, a raccoon? Let's search this area here. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the Karja search party. Not helpful. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Maybe, Aloy, maybe. Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying right. after all. We're on the trail. <sighs> Lost Grab the trail. That. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Quiet, Burr, quiet. <gasps> Come on over. before this guy turns around. All right, I kind of want to um, hit this guy in the... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to get this guy's attention so I can knock off his um, chest piece. I think that's called a... Uh, I want to let me throw a rock right now. I don't know why it wouldn't let me throw a rock just then. But I want to knock this off. Because something else I've discovered is um, the, trail up ahead now. Oh, the sound shell. That's what it's called. The machine components are super important for upgrading your gear and stuff. Weapons and outfits. So anytime you can, you should be... Uh, Knocking off the components, plus like tearing them off does a lot of damage to the machines. So that's a good tactic since you can't deal a lot of direct damage at the start anyway. Get this from my stash when I need it. What's this over here? Just another dead burrower. Also, guys, you need, um, so if you hold down on anything in your 
wheel here, you can see like how to craft these items. So like this small health potion costs um, berries and meat. So if you have extra berries, it's a good idea to just like craft some potions. I already lot. have the max three a lot of it. in my pouch right now, but anything down here works that way. Like if I want to see how to travel or craft fast travel packs, it's meat and Ridgewood. So they're actually pretty cheap. You know, you can get Ridgewood anywhere and then meat is pretty easy to get. Oh, did we need to check this guy? Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. Someone set up a lookout down here. Light, if you wanted to spy on it. What do they want us to do here? Oh, there it is. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. But... Alright guys, I think that's going to be a good place to cut it. Um, we will finish this quest in the next part, and I will see you guys there. Thanks for watching.